Yes, it's Petrus and Pardet with your St. Lucia experience beach walk. Yes, the estuary mouth is still closed, but we will walk and see more what is happening so we can give you a fresh update. Dag Pardet, gaan beach beach, ha? Gaan ons beach beach. This is why we can allow beach driving. The ocean resets the beach every six, well, every 12 hours. So in the 24 hour cycle is resetted twice. No animals or critters was damaged or hurt in any way in the making of this video as scientifically proven many times over the past 30 years worldwide Ash is naughty today You start for a ne? Kom, we gaan spelen niet zie. Waar zij? Gaan. This shouts for drift bait. Light tackle. Sardine on a wire. It screams for it. The sidewash. Everything is perfect for fishing drift bait here. And if not sardine, then a large, thin, long, thin piece of chaka or octopus leg. Now this is the estuary mouth where it used to be and under perfect conditions we're moving into springtide now and I don't see a natural breach happening and I didn't see a natural closure happening either that stretch where the hippo was stuck in the outgoing current not so long ago you can find the video here on YouTube I think it's about seven or eight videos back oh what the hell I'll link it at the back end of this video today I'm reluctant to claim tidal interaction I don't think there was much tidal interaction last night. What have we there? It's a crocodile. Okay guys, I've hunted down some photos of the so-called plug in the Msinduzi River. Now here on the right hand side you can see an insert of a video of one of the farms that is still flooded. The water above the plug is 2.2 meters high. It's not draining out into the estuary at the moment, neither into the ocean. And I cannot understand why not. Um, yes, it's a plug, but two meters, holding two meters worth of water back.
user groups using the nature but this is exactly why I say that plastic baits create plastic pollution whether they biodegradable or not I don't use stainless steel hooks I don't promote the use of stainless steel hooks or stainless steel tackle somewhere you have to have a weak point to sever between you and a fish and whatever tackle you leave behind must rust away quickly but guys it's a privilege to fish on St. Lucia beach whether it's a world heritage site or not and if this is how you leave your house we don't live like that in St. Lucia if you brought it to the beach you take it back